Adam Potter is anxious. It's been five hours since the Stillwater High School junior has last seen his yeah. best friend. Trey. The last part of class. Trey Cruzy go is busy earning his 4.0 grade point average. <laughs> but he'll be by soon. Uh -huh. Adam can count on it. We moved here from Nevada in, when Adam was in second grade. One day I was approached by a woman in a store and she had said, have you seen the relationship between Adam and Trey at Stonebridge? At Stonebridge Elementary, Trey and Adam were instantly drawn to each other. I was very skeptical at first. Adam never had a friend at his old school. It's not easy to form a relationship with a child with autism. But Trey just seemed to know how. Adam would sometimes have meltdowns in middle school. Sometimes they would have a hard day. And when we heard that, we would find Trey, and we'd page Trey Cruzy, and he would grab his head just kind of, just, it was comforting almost for, for Adam. And Adam would very, you could just see him just visibly calm down. His whole body would relax and not be so tense. Still, Andrew Jurek, the boy's sixth grade teacher, knew middle and high school would challenge the friendship. <laughs> Adam would be spending more time in special education, while Trey pursued advanced classes. We've had many, many people come into Adam's life, and then all of a sudden, they never come back. There you go, no peeking. But not Trey. Is it an elephant? No. <laughs> the captain of the Stillwater High School wrestling team with three trips to state. Get up field. The member of the football team. Go. And the National Honor Society. Two, one, two. Also still captains. Your turn. Team Adam. You know what a high hoof is? Right. It's like a high five. <laughs> Adam's mom Boy. compares autism to being lost in a strange, far-off land. Every day he's trying to navigate this foreign language and trying to figure out what we really mean. And, you know, he looks up and, you know, he sees Trey. And Trey is that bright light that reminds him, like, everything's going to be okay. It was Trey who signaled to the other kids that Adam should be their friend, too. Can't hurt when you're friends with the most popular yeah. kid in, in the class. Trey, who still holds his hand, and recently took it upon himself to buy a ticket to Adam's dance recital. Driven a half hour each way, sat through a two and a half, three hour performance to see my son perform for five minutes because he knew how much it meant to Adam to be there. And it's Trey who takes the same routes through school each day so Adam can ease his anxiety when he finds him. Hi, Adam. Hey, Trey. I'm good, how are you? When Trey is absent from school, that's when Adam is at his saddest. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> that's it, and he's happy for the rest of the day. Good one. Many have asked, and we, near the end of our visit, couldn't help but ask to. There you go. What do you get out of it? Um, just a friend. We tried to probe deeper, but for Trey, there's simply little more to say. Just because I like him. Elementary. And then some. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Stillwater.